Yo, what's up YouTube? This your boy Chaney Live coming at y'all with another vlog again. Yes, indeed, y'all. This particular vlog is on a whole nother wavelength, right? You know, I've been doing some research and I've been online and I've been looking up different things and it's a whole lot of conspiracy theories and ideas and things going around on the internet about the Freemasons. The Freemasons, right? So, in my understanding and in my research, you know, I just wanted to address some of the controversy and I just wanted to address some of the questions that people are having. Okay. One of the main thing, what I will say is I'm not saying I'm 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 vast in this knowledge or anything of that nature. I personally am not a mason. However, my father was a mason. Okay? And I'm just going to break down what I believe the understanding is when it comes to some of these questions and challenges. Why is my stuff looking blurry? Straighten up, camera. Get it together. Get yourself together. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. There we go. Out there. Okay, so let's start with the most important thing that I wanted to address is the secrets. Oh, there's so many secrets. The first thing, before I go into the secrets, let me just talk about, you know, what people are feeling about the eye on top of the pyramid and what the eye is, okay? The eye means two things. The eye represents God seeing everything, being, knowing everything, have, observing everything. So the stuff that you feel that you're doing, that nobody sees, you know, this is a representation of God seeing it all. There's a lot of people that do things behind closed doors, and there's a lot of people that do things in secret, and they think that they are not being observed. They think that they are not being made aware of. They have no clue that there is nothing under the sun that you can possibly do without God having complete knowledge of. So there are no secrets when it comes to this I. Okay? That's more on a spiritual level of what the I represents. The all-seeing I, per se. On a more worldly and subtle sense of what the eye represents is this from a masonic perspective right masons are everywhere they are everywhere they're all around us every day we don't know who they are we don't know who's masons and who are not but they're everywhere they're on your job, they're at your gym, they're at your school, they're at your church, they're everywhere you go. So with that being said is, from a more social standpoint, that I represents the fact that they are present and seeing everything at all times. Even in your school, even for little kids, they know they they're there they're there they're they're the watchers of society so they see what's taking place so if you eliminate the spookism and all oh, that eyes the devil and all oh, that eyes this it's just that they're in so many places at one time they just happen to be able to see a lot of what's going on that's what the eye represents, y'all. Stop creeping out. Stop freaking out. Okay? The eye represents the fact that 
in your work. There are people that you associate with on a regular basis. There are people that you come across that you have positive relationships with, maybe even negative relationships with, that are Masons. And because of that, they are aware of you at all times, no matter where you go, they are there. Okay? That's one expl that's two explanations for what the eye represents. Now let's go into the secrets. A lot of people are going undercover. They're sneaking into Masonic lodges like, oh, it's a secret. Oh, I'm going to find all the secrets. And there's all these videos about all these amazing secrets. That's not what it's like, y'all. That is spookism. It's pseudo. Okay? This is what the secrets are. I'm going to break it down for you so you can understand in the most simplest form. Okay? The secrets are as such. You may have a friend. Okay? You may go to a place, it could be at work, school, church, anywhere, right? And you may hear some people talking about a friend of yours. Now, they don't know that you are their friend, so they're speaking freely about your friend. And you're just in the background drinking your cup of coffee, but you're hearing a lot of stuff being said about your friend, right? So you get home, you get on the phone, you call your friend, you be like, girl or boy, whatever type of friend you got, and you say, now I'ma tell you i am I'ma tell you something, but you can't say nothing to nobody. If I tell you, you got to promise that you're not going to say anything. Guess what your friend going to say? They're going to say, I promise. I'm not going to say nothing. You can tell me anything. I'm not. I promise. I'm not going to. You're going to be like, look, swear to God, swear to this, cross your heart, cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your ass. Promise me you're not going to say anything if I tell you this information. And guess what your friend going to say? I promise you everything is crossed. I am not going to say anything. What do you know? So then you're going to tell your friend so-and-so was talking about you. They said this. They said that. They said this. And they said that. Your friend gonna be like, okay, okay. And you're gonna say, but remember, you are not to say anything to them. And you know what your friend gonna say? I, I, I told you I wasn't, and I'm not. Time gonna pass by. Your friend is gonna be thinking about this stuff, okay? They gonna be thinking about it all night. They gonna be pissed, okay? Angry. They're going to be like, I can't believe so-and-so said these things about me. They're going to be thinking about it. Like, who is such and such to say this stuff about me? Guess what's going to happen? They're going to let their emotions overcome them. They are going to respond to what was told to them emotionally. With that being said, they're going to, when they see the person that was talking about them, they're going to be like, oh, so you don't like this about me and you don't like that about me and I did this and I did that. What's up with that? This is what the person is going to say that they approach. They're going to say, what? I didn't say those things. I didn't say those things. Who told you that? It's going to eat your friend up. They're going to be like, just, hey, I know, don't play with me. I know you said it because somebody told me. Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? Don't worry about who told me. Just know I know. Who told you? Who told you? Don't worry about who told me. Just know I know. Well, they lying. They lying. Now, your friend going to know deep down in their heart, they cool with you. So they know you didn't lie to them. They know you told them the truth. 
So they're gonna have to they're gonna have to drop that 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 information. They're gonna be like, so and so told me. They heard you talking to this person and that person, and that's how the information got out. That's how I found out. They ain't, they don't mean it. They just human. They responding out of their emotions. And boom, just like that, the secret has been told. Now, that's an example. The, but if the secrets that the Masons hold, you can't just put, when somebody tell you not to say something, it's not just that person that you you actually going against by saying something. You actually when you say something when you say a secret that was told to you, you actually going against the whole organization. You made promises, you made oaths, you made commitments. You have signed your life on the line to not go back and tell what has been heard. And because of that level of commitment to the society, those are secrets that do not get misconstrued or accidentally get spilled out to the public. That's when the emotion and all of that stuff goes straight out the door. You not tell, you not respond, you can't just tell a secret, okay? Because you were emotionally challenged. Because the secret you told is not just against one man, it's against the entire organization. So stop going out here looking for all these secrets. Like, oh, y'all looking for secrets like this. The sky is not really blue. The sky is green. But through the naked eye and the way your brain calculates information through your visual perspective this is what makes you believe the sky is blue they're not it's not like that y'all it's not those type of secrets it's the same type of secrets that we share with our loved ones and friends every day the only difference is because of that commitment to the order these are secrets that are not being spilled to the general public. It doesn't matter your emotion. It doesn't matter how you feel about what was told to you. It doesn't matter if you like it. It doesn't matter if you don't. It will not be this exposed. So stop looking for secrets. Just know that if you are a Mason, the secrets that you know about your fellow brotherhood will never be exposed to the general public. Period. Because of that. And if you do spill a secret, there are major consequences involved with that. You could be a witness to all types of things, good and bad. But because of that commitment to the order and to the organization, these things will not be exposed. It does put them in a position where they can eliminate a lot of stuff and people. You could come up missing and nobody will ever know. Those are an example. These are examples of what the secrets really are. There's nothing to look for. It's just something to know that you know, the, the, the situation where, let's say one person get in trouble, he's not gonna tell on his brothers. The same way if it was not under the brotherhood or not under the order of masonry, 
these things will get exposed. You, you don't have to deal with snitches and things of that nature as, as, as much. It's more controlled. The information is more controlled and it's more, um, it's, just not, it's just not easily exposed because of that, that overall commitment. You know what I mean? So stop looking for foolishness. Stop looking for spookism. These are examples of what the secrets are. And the symbol, as far as the eye and things of that nature, this is, a, is, a, is an example of what it means. So with all that being said, again, this is your boy Chaney Live. I appreciate all of my followers, my subscribers, my family members. Continue to walk with me through this journey. Thank you for watching the videos liking the videos, sharing the videos, and subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next vlog.